c'è Pirlo, 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 ancora Pirlo di Tecco, Pirlo, goal! Hello, you're listening to Calcio Daily, everything you need to know about Italian football in less than five minutes. Ciao ragazzi, this is Andrew with your Calcio Daily for Monday, January 24th, our 151st daily show in a row. Before we begin, a quick reminder that Calcio Daily is the only daily Italian football podcast. We have no ads, no sponsors, and all our content is yours for free. We don't make you pay a Patreon subscription just to listen. We are a value-for-value value podcast, so you donate what you think the show is worth, and the best way to do that is via the Fountain Podcast app on the iPhone or Android. Goals are plenty in yesterday's games, with both Napoli and Roma banging in four apiece. Napoli had the easier task playing at home to this season's whipping boy, Salernitana. Defender Juan Jesus scored his first goal for Napoli and only his fourth ever goal with a close range strike on 17 minutes. Salernitana drew level on 33 through Bonazzoli, but Adris Mertens' penalty on the stroke of half-time restored Napoli's lead. Just two minutes into the second half, Rachmani swept in the third and the scoring was complete when Lorenzo Insigne scored from the spot. Insigne's goal was celebrated by him running towards the nearest TV camera and shouting, I love you and I will always love you. The goal also put him level with Diego Maradona as Napoli's third highest ever goal scorer on 115 behind Dries Mertens and Marek Hamsik. The biggest game of the weekend was at San Siro where second place Milan faced Juventus who were looking to break into the top four. The pitch at San Siro is increasingly becoming an issue with both Milan managers saying it's not fit for purpose and Interboss Inzaghi saying it could even scupper their title hopes. But the pitch was not the worst thing about this stinker of a game, both sides cancelling each other out to register a surprising 0-0 draw. Bad news for Milan as well as Zlatan left the field, injured in the first half. In the other games, Fiorentina and Cagliari drew 1-1, Spezia won again, beating Sampdoria 1-0, and Torino were held 1-1 by Sassuolo. Serie A will now take a welcome break until February 6th, with a national team get-together coming this weekend, where we expect to see an appearance by Mario Balotelli. Remember to support us via donations on the Fountain Podcast app, and until tomorrow, this is Andrew saying, Arrivederci ragazzi, a domani! (laughs) 